Hello, Cambridge College and Cambridge College Global students. This video will walk you through how to access the MyCC Student Portal and Canvas, the learning management system, which is where your courses will exist. We recommend using Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox as your browser, as these are optimized to function with Canvas. First, you should navigate to mycc.cambridgecollege.edu. There, you will click on the Login button at the top right of the screen. Using the information provided during the enrollment process, you'll enter in your username and password to sign in. Your password is two zeros followed by your student ID number. After signing in to MyCC, you'll simply need to click the Canvas Portal link under Quick Links here on the main page. This puts you to your Canvas dashboard, which is your central location to navigate throughout all the areas of Canvas. You'll see your navigation pane here on the left-hand side, the tiles for any enrolled courses, your to-do list, and your upcoming tasks. Starting with your account, we ask that you set up your profile. It's a good idea to put in a profile picture or avatar so students and instructors know who they're interacting with on the discussion boards or in the messages. Next, under your settings, you can enter in an alternate email address. Your main email address will always be your Cambridge College email. That's your access point for Canvas. But adding in an alternate email address allows communication to be sent so that nothing is missed. Notifications allow you to set what information is sent where and how often. It's a good idea to set this up so that you don't miss any announcements for grades, announcements themselves, or any posts on your discussion board. This keeps you on top of everything happening inside of all of your courses. To get back to the dashboard, we'll simply click the dashboard feature here on the navigation pane. The Courses icon allows you to navigate to previously completed Canvas courses or the courses that appear on your dashboard. Your calendar maps to anything due in your currently enrolled courses, but it's also your own, so feel free to customize it however you see fit to help you keep on top of tasks and to help you manage both your education and your personal life. Your inbox is not the inbox for your student email. This is an inbox for the messaging feature in Canvas that allows you to reach out to other students, your advisor, and your instructor. Again, on the dashboard, you'll see that you can get to any enrolled courses by clicking these tiles. Here you'll see that this shows you any announcements or any updates to discussion boards. Whenever you see these notifications, it's a good idea to click on these to access the announcements or updates to discussion boards so that you can keep on top of what's happening in your course. All students are enrolled in the SRC 100, or Student Resource Center course, the LIB 100, Online Library Overview course, and the CST 100, Canvas Student Training course. The Student Resource Center is a centralized hub for information that you can access 24-7. There's a section for new students, universal updates, our student support toolbox, a section for research help, technical help, and our tutoring section, which is open 24-7, accessible right through Canvas. Back to the dashboard, we'll view the online library overview. The online library is an important area that you'll access often throughout your time in your courses. You'll need to support your work on assignments and discussion boards with research, and the online library is where you'll go to find that information. Here we've highlighted an overview of the online library, the APA formatting and writing resources, as all courses require that you write to APA standards for citations and outlines. And you can proactively check your assignments and discussion board posts for plagiarism before submitting through our Turnitin Plagiarism Checker. Turnitin automatically scans every assignment when you submit your paper to your course. But if you'd like to check this before submitting for credit, you can go to the Online Library Overview course, run your paper or post through this service, and fix any citations matching plagiarized content ahead of time so you're not losing needless points when you submit. Back to the dashboard. 
you can see the course tile for any course that you're enrolled in. This allows you to access your course homepage. The course homepage outlines the syllabus, the to-do list, your calendar, and may include a summary of all required assignments and discussions throughout the class. An important section here is the module section, which you can get to either by clicking on this image link on the homepage or by selecting it here on the in-course navigation page. These both go to the same spot, so whichever one you like better, go ahead and click it. The module section outlines each week. In a very granular way, it shows the readings, the lectures, multimedia, and assignments due for each week. If you are enrolled in an on-campus or hybrid course, your professor may not be using Canvas for each of these elements. Back on the course homepage, you'll see that you can access a number of areas with the in-course navigation pane. The homepage, which we're on right now, the module section, which we just looked at, your course announcements, the discussions, the online library, and your grades. For fully online courses, all of these areas can be accessed on any page throughout the course. The discussions area is most important as every online course requires discussion boards. You can get to it through the in-course navigation menu here or through the module section. Again, many avenues, no wrong choice. Discussion pages and assignment pages look quite similar, and there's a lot of universal functionality here. First, you'll see the outline of what you're being required to do. Next, for discussions, you'll see the guidelines, which is your code of conduct on how to operate respectfully when interacting with your peers and your instructor. The ellipsis at the top right-hand corner here allow you to access the rubric. The rubric outlines exactly how your instructor will grade each assignment. It's a good idea to check this proactively to ensure that you're meeting these requirements and not losing needless points. For CCG courses, the discussion boards have a due date for the initial post of Thursday at 6 a.m. Eastern Time each week. For all other courses, your faculty member will notify you of the due dates. So long as you're adhering to these due dates, posting at least three responses on three separate days, you're going to be meeting the requirements. Let's look at an assignment page. To get there, I'm going to use the in-course navigation bar. I'm going to select the modules section, and I can see the page for the week one or module one assignment. On the assignment page again, you'll see what's being required of you, the due date, hints for success, and the grading rubrics for the assignment. When it does come time to submit an assignment, you'll click the Submit Assignment button. Here, this brings up the dialog window again. You can see the rubric is below here for review. You're able to upload a file. Please make sure that you're reading the assignment requirements to make sure you're submitting the correct type of file. You can also submit a Google Doc for certain assignments in certain courses. If you work on a Mac, you will need to save your document as a PDF or a Word file. When it's time to upload, you'll choose the file, which will allow you to select a file from your computer. Once you've selected the file, you can add any comments for the instructor. You'll have to click the box that says this assignment is my own original work. Click Submit Assignment to submit the assignment again. We are sure that you'll find that Canvas is very user-friendly. However, if you run into any technical issues, click on this image on the homepage to go to the technical support page. You can also access helpful information in the Student Resource Center course. Please don't hesitate to reach out to your instructor or your academic advisor for anything that we can do to help. We're here to see you succeed from day one all the way through to the end of your course or your program. Happy learning!